press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, how are you all? Hope all are you fine and safe in your home. In today's class, we are going to learn the first lesson of your class 6 English. That is, who did Patrick's homework? Okay, all of you having your textbooks? Yes, textbooks are very necessary in language classes. So, without textbooks, you can't understand anything. Okay, I hope all are you enthusiastic to learn this new lesson. Let's get started. Okay, before going to starting, start this lesson, I want to tell you that in this lesson, a boy named Patrick who is in your age like you guys. Okay, he did not want to do homework. He never wanted to do homework. But... He is inspired, feels propelled and motivated to hard work by an imaginary elf. That is a supernatural being. Are you understood? Yes. Let's start this lesson. Open page number 1. And first I will read this lesson then I will explain it. Understood? Okay. Before you read, discuss in class, do you like to homework? Do you do it yourself? Or do you get help? What homework do you usually have? Who did Patrick's homework? Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing and it's true. Sometimes he did not feel like an ignoramus. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. Then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all but a man of the tiniest size. He had a little old shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's. He yelled, Save me! Don't give me back to the cat. I will grant you a wish. I promise you that. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A. The little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed? But I will do it. Okay. Till now, we are going to study in this class. Okay. As I told earlier, this is a magical realism. Magical realism means it, it is not a magic, but it is a belief. Understood? It is not a magic, but it is a belief. So, it is a very beautiful lesson of Patrick and the small elf. Understood? And this lesson conveys us to um, never lose hope in ourselves. Never lose hope, faith in ourselves. So, keep on trying, keep on practicing. You can do it. So, this is the message which is conveyed to us. Okay? Let's start this lesson. First para. Look at the first para. Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. So, in, the, in this lesson, there is a boy called Patrick in your age, like you guys. He never did homework. Too boring, he said. He considered it is a boring thing. So, he never want to do the homework. He is also a lazy fellow to do homework. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. 
not only homework he also like to play a what basketball cricket sorry hockey and a nintendo a video game so please write down their meanings in the place only so you can understood properly next his teachers told him patrick do your homework or you won't learn a thing and it's true sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus but what could he do he hated homework as i told earlier patrick is a boy who hated to do homework he is very boring in that homework he did not want to do any homework that has given in the class and he wants to play hockey basketball and a video go- video game called as nintendo he wants to he wants to play a game that is a video game called nintendo but did not want to do homework understood he want to do play what hockey and basketball and also play video game like nintendo but he didn't want to do homework understood next so for that teacher said that patrick do your homework or you won't learn nothing patrick if you continue this you can't understand anything in your class so you have to do homework and it's true sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus ignoramus means being ignorant because he lack of education if you have lack of education then you will be ignored in your class right like this patrick also ignoramus person in his class because he didn't do any homework given to him and but what could he do he hated homework but what can do he hated homework he not at all do homework so he doesn't want to do homework so he will be a ignorant person in that class teachers warned also but then also he didn't do the homework and so this is the first para next second para then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away to his surprise it wasn't a doll at all but a man of the tiny size he had a little old shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's okay like this going in his life one day he was saw a cat his cat is playing with a doll but surprisingly it is not a doll it is a tiniest man one day his cat is playing with a doll but surprisingly it is not a doll it is a tiniest man understood so he had a little old shirt with old fashion breeches and that tiniest man wears a old fashion breeches means trousers and what old shirt a little old shirt so the little man wears a old shirt and a trousers breeches means sorry breeches means trousers and a high tall that my that much like a which is he yelled okay which is means a, a woman who uses magic to do evil can i write here which means a woman who uses magic to do evil and the opposite word for the witch is wizard that is a man who uses magic for evil understood 
One day, Patrick saw his cat is playing with a doll. But surprisingly, it is not a doll. It is the tiniest man. So, he looked at it and the tiniest man contains, sorry, wears a little wool shirt and a breeches. Breeches means small trousers. So, this is the description of that elf or small man. He yelled that elf yelled. Yelled means shout, cry aloud. Yelled means shout or cry aloud like save me. Save me. Don't give me back to that cat. I will grant you a wish. I promise you that. When Patrick grabbed the, grabbed means to hold up, to catch, to caught. So, when Patrick grabbed the cat, grabbed the doll from the cat, then the small man, the tiniest man, yelled or shouted that, don't give me back to that cat. So, I will give you a wish. I will grant you a wish. You can make use of that wish. Like this, that little man or tiniest man tells to Patrick. I wish, I promise you that. So, the little man promised that he will grant a wish to the Patrick. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So, he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. So, the little man promised to the Patrick that it will grant a wish for a Patrick. Okay, what could Patrick possibly wish for? All of us know that Patrick is very lazy in do homework. Okay, what could he wish? Let's find out. So, Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Fortunately, the wish is very necessary for the Patrick. And here was the answer to all his problems. His problem is what? Doing homework. So, here is a wish that can come true when it is asked. So, Patrick tells that only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester. That's 35 days. Children, the semester means a 6 months course. So, there is only 35 days left in, in his semester to complete that. So, he tells that you have to complete my homework daily so that I can get the grade A. So, this is the wish I will ask you. Understood? The little man gives a wish or grant a wish for Patrick. So, Patrick uses that granted wish and tells that you want to, you have to do all my homework in 35 days. For 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. You can do a good job so that I will get a grade A. So, you have to do my homework daily for 35 days. Like this, Patrick said to the tiniest man. The little man's face wrinkled like a disc cloth thrown in the hamper. Wrinkled means a folds. Folds are, uh, in, are in the skin. Folds in the in the skin. The little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper. Dish cloth means cloth which is used to wash the dishes. The cloth which is used to wash the dishes are called as dish cloth. So, 
that is the dish cloth thrown in the hamper hamper means a large box containing lid a large basket containing lid the little man face wrinkle like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper so that is a wish which is asked by a patrick it was very horrible to that little one so he his face is wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper when you throw a dish cloth in a dustbin or a hamper it will fold it so like this the face of the little one is wrinkled he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips so the angry it is a description of angriness of the little one that is he kicked his legs like this like this when you get angry you will kick your legs and also double your fists oh like this and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips so these are the facial expression that can tell that disgust angriness like this so that little man or tiniest man face was wrinkled and next he considered as a dish cloth thrown in the hamper and also kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips so his face was completely filled by angriness filled by this expression like depression okay and he said oh i am cursed but i will do it so what can he do he only granted a wish for that patrick so he have to maintain his promise he have to keep his promise so he tells that oh i am cursed cursed means something that annoying to you you know something that annoying to you i am cursed this wish is very horrible how can i complete it but then also i have to keep my promise so i will do it like this that tiniest one tells to patrick understood okay till now we are going to study okay kannadalli helbekandre patrick anno one hudga nimma age nu sanna hudga irtane aa hudgange eno homework madakke ishta iralla yavaglu avange homework madade gottirala homework madbeku andre avange boring aagu anta ad kelsa adu avu madakke ishta iralla ee tara irbekadre avu teachers kuda warn madirtare patrick nee nenadru ide tara continue madidre neenu yenannu kaliyodilla anta ಆದರೆ ಈ ಥರ ವಾರ್ನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಅವನು ಬದಲಾಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರ ಬದಲಿಗೆ ಅವನು ಆಟ ಆಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಗೇಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಆಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಹಾಕಿ ಆಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಮತ್ತು ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಗೇಮ್ ಕೂಡ ಅದ್ರ ಹೆಸರು ನಿಂಟೆಂಡೊ ನಿಂಟೆಂಡೊ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಗೇಮ್ ಕೂಡ ಅವನು ಆಟ ಆಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಆದರೆ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಲಾಸಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಹತ್ರ ಬೈಸ್ಕೊತೀರಲ್ವಾ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಈ ಪ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಕೂಡ ತನ್ನ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಬೈಸ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ನೀನು ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದರೆ ನೀನು ಏನೂ ಕಲಿಯಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಆದರೂ ಅವನು ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಅದರಿಂದ ಅವನು ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಗಿ ಉಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಿಮಗೇನು ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾರು ನೀನು ಮಾತಾಡಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ನೀನು ತುಂಬ ದಡ್ಡ ಇದೆಯಾ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾರು ನೀನು ಮಾತಾಡಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ನೀನು ಕೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಥರ ಅವನು ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಗಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಗಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇರಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಂದಿನ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವನ ಮನೇಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಬೆಕ್ಕು ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಡಾಲ್ ಜೊತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸಣ್ಣ ಗೊಂಬೆ ಜೊತೆ ಆಟ ಆಡ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅವನು ಅದನ್ನು ಗಮನಿಸಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಅದು ಗೊಂಬೆ ಆಗಿರಲ್ಲ ಬದಲಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತದನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಆಗ ಅವನು ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಬ್ ಡ್ರಿಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಬೆಕ್ಕಿನಿಂದ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಸ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ಇಡ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ಆವಾಗ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಕೂಗ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಸೇವ್ ಮಾಡು ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಕಾಪಾಡು ಮತ್ತು ಆ ಬೆಕ್ಕಿನ ಕಡೆ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಕೊಡಬೇಡ ಬೆಕ್ಕಿನ ಕೈಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಕೊಡಬೇಡ ನಾನು ನಿನಗೆ ಒಂದು ವ
ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಒಂದು ಊಲನ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಉಣ್ಣೆಯಿಂದ ತಯಾರಿಸಲ್ಪಟ್ಟ ಒಂದು ಅಂಗಿಯನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬ್ರೀಚಸ್ ಬ್ರೀಚಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಟ್ರೌಸರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಪ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಮತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಟಾಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಟನ್ನು ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಅವನು ನೋಡೋಕೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಏನು ಮಂತ್ರ ಮಾಯ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮಾಟ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೋ ಒಬ್ಬ ಮಾಟೆಗಾಕಿ ಥರ ಅವನು ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಈ ಥರ ಅವನ ಒಂದು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ನ ಹೇಳೋದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಅವನೊಂದು ವರನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾನೆ ಏನಂದರೆ ನೀನು ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಆ ಬೆಕ್ಕಿನ ಕಡೆ ಕೊ ಕೈಗೆ ಕೊಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾನು ನಿಂಗೊಂದು ವರ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಆಗ ಪ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಕಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಬೇಕು ಫುಲ್ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಓ ನನಗೊಂದು ವರ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನನಗೊಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇರೋದು ಅದು ನಾನು ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡೋಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಸೊ ಈಗ ನಿನ್ಗೆ ವರ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನೀನು ನನ್ನ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನು ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇನ್ನು ಮೂವತ್ತೈದು ದಿನ ಇದೆ ಆ ಮೂವತ್ತೈದು ದಿನದವರೆಗೂ ನೀನು ನನ್ನ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಇದೇ ನಾನು ನಿನಗೆ ಕೇಳೋ ವರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಆಗ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನುಷ್ಯಂಗೆ ಫುಲ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಏನಿದು ನಾನೇನು ವರ ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ಪಾಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನನ್ನ ಕಾಪಾಡಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಪಾಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ವರ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಇವನು ಇಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡ ವರನ ಕೇಳೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವನ ಮುಖ ಕೋಪದಿಂದ ತುಂಬ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಮುಖ ರಿಂಕಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸುಕ್ಕು ಕಟ್ಟುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಕೋಪ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹಿಂಗೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಲ್ಲ ಆವಾಗ ಅದು ಮುಖ ರಿಂಕಲ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಸ್ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಚುಟ್ಟಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಕಚ್ಚಿಡಿಯೋದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕಿಕ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕಾಲುಗಳನ್ನು ನೆಲಕ್ಕೆ ಒದಿಯೋದು ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂದ ಮತ್ತು ಫಿಸ್ಟ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಹಿತ್ ಫಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೈಗಳ ಮುಷ್ಟಿಯನ್ನು ಈ ಥರ ಬಿಗಿ ಹಿಡಿಯೋದು ಈ ಥರ ಕೋಪ ಬಂದಾಗ ನಾವು ಏನೇನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವೋ ಆ ಥರ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾನೆ ಆದರೂ ಅವನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ಆಮೆ ಕೋಸ್ಟ್ ನಾನು ಏನಾದರೂ ಶಾಪ ಕೊಳಗಾದ್ನ ಯಾಕೆ ನನಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡವರ ಕೇಳ್ದ ಇವನು ಆದರೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡಲಿ ನಾನು ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಮಾತು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೇಬೇಕು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ನಾನು ಅದನ್ನು ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ನ ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಈ ಒಂದು ವರನ ಈಡೇರಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ದಿನಾಲೂ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆನಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಕಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅದ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಡೇ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಮೊರೈಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟ